Welcome back to the adobelive.com live stream from Adobe Max 2016 and we are live from San Diego and for the next hour we're together with Michael Flarup. Hello guys. Yeah, I have I have only Danish guests today. Yep. So I had Maria Grönlund an hour ago and now I have you. It's a tough act so, to follow. So what's up with Danes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, me and Maria is the only, I think we should have more Danes in the more lineup. More Danes, Yeah, it's, okay. we're the only two Danes in the lineup okay. right now, so. Are there any Danes in the chat? Show some Danish love here. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> yes, so Michael. Yes. Max 2016, what's, what's your key takeaway? I mean, we're on day three, this is the last day for us in San Diego. When are you flying back? Yeah, I'm flying back tomorrow. Tomorrow, okay. Yeah, just enough, I've, I've spent just enough time here to combat the jet lag and yes. get jet lag all over again yes. when I go this back is, home. It's this amazing. Is, yeah, yeah, that's why I prefer one day trips. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> anyway. So I've, I've yeah. learned three things at Max actually okay. this year. I think it, it can be summarized by three things. Um, <laughs> gather the crowd, shout it aloud, creative cloud. That's, that's the three things. That's the that's takeaway. The, that's your key takeaway. Yes, okay. yes. <laughs> amazing. All right. So, Michael, why don't you tell us a little bit about you and what you do and what... Sure. Yeah. So, uh, actually, I have, I have kind of a complaint because mm -hmm. I'm being typecast. Typecast. I, yes. I am being asked to do the same thing over and over again. Okay. So, so I, uh, I'm a designer and uh, I've, uh, I've freelanced for 15 years and I've, uh, I've worked as a product designer for 10 years. We've made some award-winning games. I've started my own companies, built some really uh, fun UI. Uh, have millions of users on our utility apps, even build hardware. Hardware? And, uh, yeah, and, and, and people... It's called the Flareup X100. <laughs> yes, <or. laughs> that's, that's the one. But, but every year, it's like, that's all great, Michael. Mm -hmm. We'd like you to talk about app icons. App like, icons? Yeah, app mm -hmm. icons. And, and I love app icons. Like, okay. it's, a, it's, a, it's truly one of my passions. I'm not complaining. It's, it's a, no, a no, cornerstone. You, you of are everything. complaining. So, yeah, just a little so, bit. So, I wonder what we'll talk about today at yes. this live stream. <laughs> right. And so what is it you would like to talk about? Yeah. I, actually, I would love to give a talk about, uh, about game design okay. next year. Okay. If, Max if, 2017. Yeah. <laughs> Tune back in. Yeah. And we'll be talking to Michael about game design. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold you to that. <laughs> okay. um, yeah. No. Uh, I mean, let's let's talk about app icons. I All right. I, I love app making icons. app icons. Yeah. I, I, I can. Uh, yeah. Is my sh I'm, I'm, is my screen shared now? Is yeah. Your screen is, is being shared. That's Don't worry. good. Don't look at that. This is like the delay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Actually. Yeah. Uh, so um, yeah, just maybe to get. Uh, we have a whole hour, so we, yes. can, we can banter and we can joke. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, just to get people familiar with some of the stuff that I do, uh, as I said, I've been freelancing for 15 years. I've got a, a small uh, one-man band uh, at pixelresort.com. And the stuff... So it's a lonely resort. It's a very lonely resort. But sometimes <laughs> people visit. Uh, and uh, the sort of stuff that I do is... Uh, it's, I mean, there's obviously a lot of icons mm -hmm. there. That, that is one of my passions. Uh, a lot of UI design, uh, a lot of product design. Mm -hmm. And uh, I do this. I do these type of things where it's. I have a love for color, for tactility. I think if you look through some of my work, that's kind of like the consistency. Uh, I love making things that are fun and silly. Um, so, so you guys can check out pixelresort.com and sort of get an get an idea of what I do. If you put it in here. Yeah, link that up in the chat. Um, other than that, I think my my career right now is kind of divided into two major pillars. So I am. Uh, I am doing this, Pixel Resort, and, and a bunch of uh, sort of side projects. And uh, one of those things is kind of like, I'm really interested in teaching design. Mm -hmm. And uh, obviously, coming to events like this and giving talks uh, on app icons and other things uh, okay. is part of that. But also, uh, but also just uh, kind of demystifying design in a way. I have a YouTube channel where I talk to people about making things. Okay. Uh, and, I can uh, find that YouTube channel. Yeah, you can do that. Um, you, you go on. Yeah. You, you know, you, you I'll continue. To, yeah. I'm, I'm apparently not connected to the internet, but uh, oh, you're not. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me. Ah, uh, well. Let me actually, give you this. I think I might have the press. Have the, the, <laughs> okay. I'll Let's try. Get you connected. Yeah. Anyways, no. I'm okay. Not. Take this. Plugged directly into the system. I'm hooked in. All right. Um, actually, I preloaded the site, but uh, so so as part of that whole endeavor of trying to. Uh, to, to empower people and teach design. I have a, a, a resource platform that I call applypixels.com where I make these uh, industry uh, standard design tools. So 
people might know that from uh, from these icon templates that I do. There's, there's other t kinds of templates, and uh, there's photo a bunch of Photoshop files there, in-depth videos, um, and you can you can go to applypixels.com and check those things out. It's they're really helpful for people trying to uh, get a head start on this, and even for seasoned designers, but certainly also for developers who wants to make their icons or screenshots or whatever uh, for the first time. Um, so, so yeah, uh, and it, it's a it's a subscription service. Mm -hmm. I finally I've, I give I gave I gave the original templates away for five years, and okay. uh, finally took the leap and uh, made it a sustainable platform. And it's been going for two months now, and it's just it's grown and uh, lots of new templates have have sort of arrived and. It's it's a really fun fun part of my career right now. So so all of those things, the Pixel Resort, the teaching of design, the YouTube channel, the Apply Pixel stuff is is about teaching design and, and demystifying mm -hmm. design. So that's one pillar of my career. Um, apply Pixels, I find yeah, that. Yeah, ApplyPixels.com, and um, and I'll, I'll show you some of this stuff later. I'll yep. show you some of the tools. Um, I'll, I'll if you guys stay, you, if you have plans for the next hour, <laughs> drop them. Call your mom. You can't go. You have to stay here. Uh, I'll give out some discount codes for licenses, so don't sign up yet if you're looking at this. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's one p pillar of my career. The other pillar of my career is uh, I've recently started a, a really fun little company called North Play, and um, actually kind of had some stuff to show you guys here. But let me show you. This is the keynote I gave the other day. 200 slides. Wow. Yeah, I know. It was crazy. Uh, but I just want to home in and kind of show you this. So yeah, uh, so, so North Play is this small uh, design entertainment studio uh, focused on making like games and gamification, essentially all kinds of content that needs to be made more fun. So we do some TVOS stuff and we're just, uh, yeah, we're like five people now mm -hmm. and, uh, and we're working on our first game. So, so that's really fun and also to, to get to, to show some of that stuff here. Um, so maybe once you're do you're done with your first game, people will ask you to talk about gaming. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping, right? I, I can give you a little preview of what we're working on. So we're work working on a game called Conduct This. Uh, it's I have a two-year-old son, mm -hmm. and he loves trains. So we're it's a it's a train uh, it's a tr action train sim puzzle simulator, and uh, I got a little video showing uh, some some stuff here. Um, so yeah, it's it's a really it's for mobile, Android and iOS, and it's it's a really hectic little uh, low poly style game where you control these trains. So you get this this little world, and you you have trains sort of coming in, and uh, you need to pa transport passengers from one station to another station, and uh, just kind of the graphics. It's so nice. Uh, it's uh, it's one of my good friends, uh, Lopoko is his uh, internet name, who, who does these, and he's he's amazingly good. Uh, so you got the trains here. You you kind of stopping them, and then you're oh you yeah stuff like that can happen. Right? You you're trying to get people a, a safe commute, but it doesn't uh -huh. already it doesn't always doesn't happen always like that. Work. No. So it's a really fun little game, and uh, if you go to conductthis.com, can, uh, it can end in a pixel tragedy. It can. It can. It, it gets a little gory, uh, but in a in a kid friendly way, I think. Um, but yeah, at conductthis.com, uh, we we kind of have like developer that, diaries. That open water bottle is giving me anxiety. Oh! <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll close it. I'll close it just for you. No, yeah, but uh, as as we often do, uh, we we kind of do these um, these uh, developer <laughs> diaries. So so we have like some really fun videos on on the website conductthis.com where you can sort of see us fumbling our way. We've been working on it for nine months now, and uh, yeah, it's. It's hilarious. It's really fun. Check that out. Those are my two <laughs> things that I do right now. I do I do design and talks and resources and all those things, and I do games and gamification. Yes, that's why. Okay, I do. we got that. Yes. Okay. Yeah. You like? You want to talk about games next? So time. should we talk about? <laughs> no. So 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 actually, I really do like talking about app icons, yeah, yeah. and uh, and I I think that's it's a it's a great thing to talk about because it's something where you with very little effort mm -hmm. can actually make a huge impact mm -hmm. on products. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, th I, that's you know, actually, that's that's very true. Um, the the design of the icon of the app I'm about to buy is is a is determines whether I'm going to buy it or not. Because if it's a flimsy icon, I you know I'm not yeah. so sure. I will no. go read the reviews. If it's a super cool icon, I may not even read the reviews yeah. and just buy <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. You know? 
the people oh, yeah. are wired like that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, yeah, that's why I gave a 75-minute session on app icon okay. design. Right? I'm not going to sum all of it up here, but uh, it, it is. There's a lot of things to consider when you're doing this stuff, and it shouldn't be an afterthought. There's, I have these uh, five core aspects that I like to talk about, and I have like this whole theory build up. And uh, if you come to one of my sessions at some point, if I still do talks about app icons, yes. uh, <laughs> or you can find them online. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find them on my YouTube channel, actually. That's the talk I gave last year at Max. Uh, you can go and find that if you want yeah, to really get into Of course, the specifics. talks that, you know, that are, I think all talks have been recorded here at Max 2016, so yeah. these will be available as well. Yeah, definitely look out so for that. So you can watch his 75 minute talk about, app, uh, not app design, but well, icon design. Yeah, actually, I kind of hijacked that okay. whole session. I, I interjected about 100 slides of, <laughs> of, of, of just showing fun stuff uh, before, uh, but people th uh, seem to like it, so, so it was Great. good. So yeah, definitely go check out that session. Mm -hmm. I, 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 it was an amazing session. Cool. I thought I, w I had walked into the wrong room, because uh. last year I was kind of a late addition to the team, and uh, they gave me a, a fairly small room. There's 100 people, mm -hmm. and uh, it was kind of like classroom yeah, style yeah, yeah, thing, yeah. lovely. Uh, so this year, I was kind of walking around looking for a room of that size, <laughs> and uh, I stumbled into this ballroom. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, I must have, I must be in the wrong room." They're like, room. "No, no, you're Michael. You have <laughs> okay, to, okay. this is your room." I was like, "This is awesome. gonna be so embarrassing because we're only gonna be able to fill up the first two, uh, the first two rows." Yeah, instead. So, yeah, and this is actually what happened. I have a video right here to show you guys. Um, let me show you audience. I was just amazed. I had to put up a camera and time lapse okay. the whole thing. Um, are you guys seeing my screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't awesome. Worry. So people just started piling into the room, right? And we didn't feel it entirely, but there was hundreds of people there. And it was just... So, you know, seeing that, maybe you should be talking about icon design and yeah. game design. Yeah, that's... that's <laughs> no, yeah. Like, both. Yeah, no. and actually, that's what I did at this session. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, 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 yeah, definitely. It was, awesome. it was a really fun session. Go and check that out. Uh, we had a blast. Mm -hmm. so, um, so, yeah. What do you want to talk about? What should we do? What yeah, should we do? Yeah, We've got time, yeah, right? Let's go into uh, icon design. Let's talk about icon design. Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, I brought some files. We can try to play around with the. People want that wallpaper. Yes, I thought you would, right? <laughs> I'm going to upload it somewhere. And if you follow me on Twitter, my Twitter handle is uh, my last name, at Flarop. Uh, at I'll, Flarop? Yeah, okay. I'll, link, I'll, uh, I'll link that because it's amazing, obviously. Jason is amazing. I, I still have that song stuck in my head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, so m do many. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, no. So I brought some. Uh, yeah, I brought a, a, a tiny demo that I gave at the session, uh, and I thought we could we could kind of play around with that, and just to as, as an example of how we could improve some an icon. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, actually, I've got a little setup for it here, because. Uh, when I was doing this uh, very, very long uh, slideshow here, I was like, okay, we have maybe about 20 minutes for the, for the actual uh, demo, right? And it's always nerve-wracking doing a demo in front of like a couple hundred people. Yes. But I was like, what could we possibly do in 20 minutes? What could we improve, mm -hmm. right? Uh, it's, 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 such a, it's, it's a very sassy thing, really, to, to say that you want to improve uh, some exi existing work in 20 minutes. It's kind of cocky, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, I was like, oh, can we really do this? But then I, I kind of looked around. And, uh, yeah, people actually want to see the process, how yeah, you make icons. Exactly. And, and, and mm -hmm. I was like, what could we do in those 20 minutes? Then I looked at my phone and I saw this, right? Uh, the people in the live stream probably don't have this app because mm -hmm. uh, this is the official uh, Adobe Max app. That's the, and that's, that's the one from last year. Okay. So someone literally just kind of changed the hue of it. Okay. <laughs> So, yep, exactly. That's it looks like, it looks like this, right? You're changing, yeah. And uh, if you had been to my session, uh, you would have known the first three things that were wrong with this, uh, this app icon, right? It has to do with, uh, it has to do with scalability. Mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't scale very well. It's not very legible. And uh, usually I try to like, have people stay away from having words in there. I know that this mm -hmm. is kind of like a logo, right? Yeah. But it, it still spells out Max. It says Adobe Max right underneath it. So it's, it's kind of like, Ugh, when I look at it, right? Uh, that's, that's why I feel. So, uh, and also, uh, when you look at the other Adobe uh, icons, the, the mobile suite mm -hmm. of icons, they're actually really good. Like, whoever makes those, keep it up. I like the consistent yeah. style of it. So it's kind of sad that the, the, the Disneyland of conferences, the, <laughs> the best place to be, Adobe Max, has this as their sort of native app icon for the, uh, for the otherwise not very good app. <laughs> Uh, so, so let's let's see if we can kind of improve this, right. right? Yeah. So, so first of all, yeah, it kind of looks like this, um, and uh, also, yeah, in amongst other icons, 
I mean, you're, you're, you're probably watching this on a, on a maybe on a computer screen, and it, it seems okay. But when it's on a phone, it's really small. I can't really make it out, right? Mm. Uh, so we want to make something that is um, more legible. Uh, it, it scales better, has, has better contrast, but also maybe doesn't have to spell out Max, right? So um, if I wanted to do that, what I could do is I would go to, I'll go to appliedpixels.com. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm connected to the internet right now, but you can find a template called iOS app icon. And oh, that's the funny thing with the color oh. red, is that it. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, in it, it's like <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll, we'll, we'll live with that. Illuminati effect. Okay, yeah. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> so, anyways, yeah, go to applypixels.com, uh, and 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 from there you can get the template. Somebody says, you check your emails. Holy moly. Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> I'm at a conference. People keep writing me. I'm like. I'm here, I'm walking around, I'm meeting people, I'm out late at the bash last night, like, I'm slightly hungover. I do not answer my emails when All I'm right. at conferences. Yeah. Uh, but I, I hear you. Uh, so yeah, you download the template, and the template file kind of looks like this. You get like a folder with a Photoshop file, and there's some actions there, and you can import the actions. Uh, they, they're going to make it really easy for you to spit out all the many different, uh, the many different sizes that you're going to need when you're delivering your app icon for various iOSs or yeah, for yeah. For, for, for for all the I, I, for, yeah, basically all of iOS, um, and also just like this example, I'll be talking about iOS, but lots of other templates here, mm -hmm. Android templates. Um, other, many other things in here, uh, but opening up the file, it kind of looks like this. So let's just go full screen on this. Jason is kind of distracting me there in the background. And uh, it looks like this, and you can see that you can see all the many different sizes kind of rendered out automatically, and the. There's some previews there if you want to see your icon uh, in, in the native environment. And the idea behind most of my templates is actually to automate as many things as possible. Mm -hmm. So the way I've done that is I've created a, a bunch of nested smart objects. So you actually only need to edit the largest size, uh, which is this one right out here. Um, and I'm just going to hit Edit Contents. And uh, here you can then create your icon, and I recreated the uh, the, the, the the wonderful Max uh, mm -hmm. icon. <laughs> and uh, if I save it out, it'll take a few seconds. And I close the file. Boom! All of the sizes are rendered out, and you can see it, uh, pre the previews uh -huh. and all the different things. So that's pretty good. That's a it's a good start. You, you, you now have the whole setup in just a few seconds of, of sort of cre creating icons. Uh, the, the smart object here comes with a bunch of like building blocks uh, with, with uh, like all the colors that's native to iOS and all the grids and the guides and all those things. So it's, it's pretty easy to get started. So anyways, when you need to make an icon, it's, you have like this whole conceptual phase first, right? Where you kind of try to come up with a concept for the whole thing. Do you sketch? I sketch a lot, actually. I, I kind of brought um, I brought my sketch pad. Some people sometimes yeah. like to see that, so yeah. I thought that would be cool. No, no, I love sketch pads. Yeah. That's, uh, so that's where the ideas start. Yep. No, and I think it starts in here. Yeah, it probably yes. does. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I sketch a lot, and uh, I have a I have a whole like twenty minute video on YouTube on why it's important to sketch, mm -hmm. even if you're afraid of sketching. Because to be honest, for the, for the first many years of my career. I, I didn't sketch. Uh, I didn't like sketching. I, I might sketch in secret, but I never thought I was very good at drawing. Mm -hmm. So, so it really took me a while to sort of get. I know a lot of people feel that way. Mm -hmm. it took me a lot of time to sort of get on the other side of that and figure out that it's actually a, a really important tool that you, you'll use, right? Now, so, so when I sketch icons, this is actually client work I'll sh be showing now, but I, I hope okay. that I'm not under NDA. Okay, is, can you guys see this? Is there? Yeah, yeah, they can yeah, see they, it. That's yeah. good. I've got text on here, and they're zooming in and all. Uh, so, so yeah, just stuff like this where I'm kind of sketching out ideas. I might put them on a grid uh, and uh, and kind of just try to see if something catches my eye. And I, I like to, when I work with clients, I like to sort of give them a lot of options in terms of sketches. It's much harder to give them options later on, but sketches are cheap, right? It's a good way to explore some things. And uh, and there are many ways to do sketches. I've found that uh, good old pen and paper actually works really well for me, because as soon as you start to move in the spectrum of more fidelity 
in the sketches, like you, let's say you drew them in Photoshop or whatever, mm -hmm. people start to ask other types of questions because they see that the rendering, it seems more perfect, right? So they're like, they, they'll have questions about colors. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. So, so if you can keep your sketches as low fidelity as possible, mm -hmm. like you, you can really kind of, people kind of know instinctu instinctively, like this isn't the, the finished yeah, product, yeah. right? Uh, so we're just talking conceptually and you, you get them in that right frame of mind, right? But yeah, lots of, uh, lots of stuff like cool. this. Um, yeah, so that's usually how and I start. Another question that came up is that your templates are all in Photoshop. Could they be in Illustrator? Yeah, so I get that question a lot. Uh, it's, it's an interesting thing, right? First of all, I want to say, prefacing everything, you should use the tools that you are most comfortable yeah. with. I, I, I always I feel like that. Uh, and, 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 uh, and there is really no right tool for the, for the job. But that being said, uh, all icons, uh, not not t not talking about SVG or web or stuff like that, but all the app icons, mm -hmm. uh, icons on your desktop, on your mobile, yeah, yeah. the deliveries that you give to your developer who's going to work with them, they're raster based. Mm -hmm. It is a it is raster based outputs. It's 10, 10, 1024 by 1024 or 512 by 512 or 120 by 120. So it's it's a raster based output. And for that, I personally prefer a raster-based application. Mm -hmm. So that's why I use Photoshop. I use Illustrator sometimes for uh, it's a completely superior pathing, a like Pathfinder tool. So I'll, sh I'll, I'll, I'll I can jump into Illustrator and show yeah. how I use that in a second. Uh, but uh, for the for the final sort of export, I use uh, I, I use Photoshop. I, I also have other t other. Uh, off-brand uh, templates on the site that you can go and check out uh, for, for some of the other things. There might be Illustrator stuff in, in the future. The whole idea behind Apply Pixels is that uh, the subscription kind of means that you get continually updated templates because these things change. It's kind of like okay. software in many ways. So new sizes are introduced and uh, it's like software. They have bugs or whatever. And, uh, and then new templates are added every month. So you kind of like, you, it's like a designer goodie bag mm -hmm. uh, that you subscribe to and then people uh, kind of get these uh, life-saving resources. So, anyways, that was a good question, though. And just ask questions. That's cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that's what the chat is for, yeah. and that's why it's so cool to be live. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, otherwise, I'll just be sitting here talking all day. Anyways, we're looking at this app icon. What could we possibly be doing, right? What, what, would, what would be the sort of stuff that we could do to improve it? Well, first of all, I think, I think it's a little too complex. I think there's just too much in there. Uh, I love the max shapes and all that, but it's it, it's not scaling properly, and that's one of the core concepts of icon designs, like having something that scales properly. So uh, what I actually would like to do, uh, if maybe I would have sketched first, but now we're we're live with, with yeah. doing this whole thing here, uh, and uh, and I think I would like to focus on one of these shapes and just only use that shape. It says Adobe Max underneath the icon. I, I just want a strong pictorial sort of an image, right? Uh, and I like the X. Uh, I think that's a, that's a neat, fun little shape. You can do some interesting things with lighting. So uh, if you want to kind of create something like that, I've kind of started here already, but jumped oh, into uh, Illustrator. Little, you're an Illustrator. I'm an, I'm an Illustrator, <laughs> yeah. Uh, this was not scripted at all. <laughs> so uh, I might uh, copy this and uh, just uh, reflect it. Just reflecting it uh, horizontally. Yeah, so people I, in the chat are talking. My microphone is too low, but in, you know, normally I have the loud voice. Yeah, and today you, it's me. You, you have a louder voice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so, so now we have something that kind of looks like it. I, al I would also like to get that shape there in the middle. Uh, so I, I might be able to copy this whole thing, and then I use the, the only real thing I use in Illustrator. I'm an Illustrator noob. Like the okay. only thing I really use in Illustrator is uh, is actually uh, path. Where, where did you go? Where did you go? Pathfinder, the right oh, okay. there. Yep. And uh, I use that to kind of, when, to subtract shapes from each okay. other and kind of make, like, uh, like make some cutouts, like these mm -hmm. ones here, for example. So now I kind of got that, have that little last piece of the puzzle there. Mm -hmm. um, and, and yeah, that's what, that's, this was just to illustrate, like, mm -hmm. illustrate how I, how I work with Illustrator. Uh, it's 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 superior to Photoshop in that. You know, there's the, a super cool the tool stuff called snaps. This one here. About oh, the gradient tool? No, 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 up, up, up. That one. No, yeah, no, next to it. That one. This one, the shape builder tool. Oh, okay, you I'm learning that? something. No, I don't. This is this is the Pathfinder panel killer tool. Okay. Yeah. So basically, this is what happens, right? We use yeah. these legacy things and we stick yeah. to them, right? It's like ah, um, oh, legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know. No, no, no. Do do the same thing, like okay. it's without using we'll the Pathfinder. So. Holy shit! Whoa. What, what, did you, what, what just that? happened? What just happened? <laughs> what am I doing? 
I'm trying to draw stuff. No, no, no. You don't, you don't draw. Oh, with I can. That. No, 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 no. We, like, you know how you got the shape out? Yeah. Okay, so redo that. Like, take the, the object you had and you use the pathfinder. Okay. On. There you go. Okay, there you go. All right, now select it and use the this new tool. All right, and if you hover over it, wait, it doesn't do anything? Why not? Ah, oh, because it's not selected. Select it. Okay, now. It deselects it. It deselects it. Oh, there has to be some, some yeah, illustrator yeah, well, sharks out yeah. there saying, oh, maybe oh not, he's not maybe doing this thing right it. here. Anyways. Anyway. I will flee from this application. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, but I, I think I think Illustrator is cool for this sort mm -hmm. of stuff. And there's obviously some really talented mm -hmm. people who works with Illustrator. And so what I do is I, I usually copy those shapes into Photoshop. And uh, let's just kind of uh, let's hide that. And uh, let's see if we can do uh, kind of make something that's a little cooler, right? Um, so oh yes, another thing. Uh, oh my God, there's a what is this? Woo! What is this? What is? I, I what don't is know. Happening? Someone just bombed the whole thing. Yeah. I love you guys. <laughs> um. <laughs> no, Michael. Michael's running a giveaway in the background. Ah, without, that's without, why. Without yeah, telling us. That's why. That's why. <laughs> just r type out "I love you, Michael," and Michael over here will give you some prizes. Yes. <laughs> because he's not talking about Michael Flarup. He's talking no. about Michael Shea. Yeah. He's talking about Shea. It's all of those you, Michaels. Michael. <laughs> I still love you guys. Um, no, I wanted to show one last thing before we sort of dive mm -hmm. into it. So. Uh, I want to do that shape, the X shape. That's what we want to do for the improvement of the icon. And I want, uh, I want to look at some. I usually look at inspiration, right? I actually think that these, uh, the, the mobile uh, mm -hmm. icons are pretty cool that, that Adobe is doing, which is why it's it's so baffling that the Max icon looks mm -hmm. the way it does, right? So I kind of like, I like that. And uh, this was a shot I took from last year's Max. I okay. kind of like those colors. There's some cool hues there. Right, right when Project Comet, uh, yeah. now XD, uh, was introduced. So. Yeah, just kind of, there's something about this, right? I want the new Max icon that we're making right now to feel more like those, right? And maybe a little bit to like feel that. like an Adobe mobile app. Yeah, is that too yeah. much to ask? <laughs> uh, so so that's, that's the inspiration we're going for, right? So I like, first of all, uh, this is like a cooking program. Mm -hmm. I, I cheated, right? I, I made something at home. Uh, but let's, let's go with like an inner body, first of all. Uh, and. Uh, here I've sort of just created a mask, and, and uh, we have that that frame that, that the Adobe icons mm -hmm. are so like known for. And uh, I've then copied in the shape from Illustrator here, here in the middle, boom, like that. It's pretty flat. It's still interesting. Uh, let's save it out and see what happens. It, just to kind of, it's 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 a good idea. To just kind of reality mm -hmm. check if see if have you even improved something? Is it is it even better? Right? Yeah. Is it more legible? Is it more interesting? Uh, we're saving it out. I'm sad my new MacBook didn't arrive for this. I'm sorry. Ah. Um, so yeah, for, I think this is kind of interesting. We can go back and forth here. We can look at the, the old one and the new one. There's definitely something there. Um, I think we can do better. But it's, it's a good step in the right direction. So if we jump back in. Uh, so I am a, I'm a, maybe if you've seen some of my work, you know that I'm a huge fan of like tactility and gradients and mm -hmm. color and those little details and things like that. Uh, so I tried to see if I could apply that to, to this concept here um, and kind of came up with maybe using the gradient from, from that picture there that I showed you guys, uh, that picture. Maybe using kind of eye dropping, just eye dropping the gradient there. I really like that color. And, uh, and having that as the background. And then doing something more with the logo. I wanted to stand out a little more. I wanted to create a little more of a sense of depth and tactility, right? So maybe something like that would be cool. So essentially, we've, we've taken the different triangles and, and applied a lot of different effects to them, right? So I'm using a ton of uh, layer styles because mm -hmm. I'm, I'm a layer styles kind of guy. Yeah. And, uh, Do you name them? I, I, I don't. I'm, I'm, horrib I'm horribly <laughs> naming them. And you can all see right now. It's for everyone to see. Um, but uh, but yeah, I, I've got and I'm using blending modes, lots of different mm -hmm. blending modes to sort of uh, burn and dodge the colors to make it make it more interesting. And there's there's actually quite a few things going on in here. Let, let me just zoom in for you guys to see. So uh, here we've got a gradient overlay. We're kind of deconstructing this. We have time, right? Yeah, um, yeah totally. In the meanwhile, you guys, you'll come up with some killer questions for me. I know, <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm giving. Uh, it's just a simple gradient uh, overlay. It's multiply, and it's not. Notice how it's not completely dark, but it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like an off uh, dark blue color. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that gives like some more like realistic shadows in a way. Uh, shadows are rarely completely black, 
And uh, that's that's basically that's that's what's going in there and creating that that sense of depth. Without it, it's completely flat. As soon as you add it, it, it kind of gives this origami-like look, uh, which I think right. is what they're going for. Uh, we're just helping it a little bit, right? Uh, and there's uh, there's also a bunch of other cool stuff. So you might not even see this, right? It's so hard to see. But a subtle bevel, subtle bevel that just kind of adds a little bit of a highlight to the top uh, piece of uh, the, the, the shape there. I love doing stuff like that. Uh, I got a vibrance layer uh, over all of this just to amp up the vibrance. Again, I am I'm addicted to color. Uh, and uh, and I'm actually I'm, I'm I'm cheating a little bit here because I want this shape to kind of have like a, a glow, right? It has to look like it's glowing. So I, I got like a halo effect kind of going, and you can you can do that in many different ways. You you can do it by having an outer glow. So you might I'm not sure I'm not sure if you guys can actually even tell uh, from the yeah screen. yeah you can see it. Uh, but there's an outer glow here, and if I turn it off, it's kind of a little more sharp. And if you if you mm -hmm. put it on there, it, it looks pretty cool. The outer glow is actually just an overlay and it's white because what I do and the, the reason why it's, it's sort of burning into the, the green hue here is that <laughs> I use raster. I've, I've painted on top of this with a, a, an overlay layer. Uh, so it's, it's right here. I can remove it. See? So that it has kind of like a, a, a haze of, uh, like around the whole thing. Um, I love stuff like that. Little things that kind of make the whole piece appear alive and tactile. Mm -hmm. Um, and I spent way too long on kind of playing around with that sort of stuff <laughs> in my work. Uh, but that's, that's the that's things that, that I think is interesting. And I, I do that all over the shape. There's some stuff, there's some overall shading here, uh, another layer uh, where I'm highlighting the edge. Uh, and then kind of just, yeah, playing around with some like minor adjustments, right? Never get enough of those details. Anyways, it's uh, it's interesting at least. Let's let's try to save that out, see if we've, if we've improved anything. So good question is, so how would I print that out for my big logo and the expo? Yeah. Uh, Redo it. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I mean, I'm using shape layers in Photoshop, mm -hmm. and, and they are filled with raster ah, okay. content, oh, yeah, but yeah, you yeah, could yeah. actually, you could blow this up. Yeah, I think yeah. with very little work, oh, you would have to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, so, I mean, it's vector outlines, but Photoshop mm -hmm. kind of uses raster data to yeah, fill yeah, them yeah. with. Mm -hmm. So as soon as you add a gradient to it, you kind of need to use Photoshop to scale those mm -hmm. things up, right? But, um, but, but again, yes, but... I get that a lot from people kind of kind of talking about icons. Like, yes, they need to be scalable. You know what? No, they need to look great at the exact sizes you need them in. Mm -hmm. That 120 by 120 pixel uh, icon that, that goes on the, the home screen of, mm -hmm. of your iPhone, that is the most important thing, right? Yes. It, it, it needs to look awesome. And and you, sh you shouldn't trade that away mm -hmm. for uh, ease of scalability yeah. if you wanted to do a print of it one day, right? So I think that's the, that's the thing that people really need to think about with icons is you're creating these little gems it's of priority. these different sizes. Yeah, that's, yeah. The, that's the priority, mm -hmm. right? Um, but obviously, when you use shape layers like this, uh, you, can, you can scale them, mm -hmm. right? Anyways, let's close it up, this up and see if we... Did we improve anything, right? Okay, so now it looks like this. See, I think this starts to look a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would tap that. That's more tappable uh, <laughs> than the Max, the, the original Max uh, sort of app icon. I don't know if you guys agree, but I think it's interesting. It's not the best app icon ever. We made mm -hmm. it pretty quickly, uh, but I think it's, it has something, mm -hmm. right? Um, one last thing I want to show you, because this was actually, I cheated. I did this last year. That's why mm -hmm. I use pictures from last year. Uh, but this year, we've all seen them, right? We've seen these wonderful the colors, banners, yeah. mm -hmm. the new colors. I love them. They're amazing. Uh, so I thought, could we maybe do something like that? Uh, and, uh, and, and I did something like that. So we can open up this file, hide this thing here. And uh, I, I simply started by taking the, uh, the gradient from, uh, from, from the X part. I really like that gradient. That sort of, it looks like the sunrise uh, or sunset grading uh, sunrise probably sunrise it looks really cool like this, the blue hues are fantastic i love how it breaks off into almost slightly purple a uh, little pink and i brought those in and uh and created a, a gradient that i liked and uh for this one i tried like, let's not have the border let's mm -hmm. just see if we can do something different right and uh and then i i created uh, i took the shape in again and uh, added some new effects to it and kind of came up with this origami thing. It's, it's not as crazy looking as the mm -hmm. other one, but it kind of, I took some of those dark colors from, 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 from that, from that area over here and then kind of brought those in and, and played around with the lighting layers and the, and the gradients 
um, to sort of create this thing, right? Also, by removing the uh, the border of this thing, I, I was able to kind of scale up the logo mm -hmm. a little bit. So just to give it a, di a different kind of look, um, and you, could, I mean, you could play around with this forever. Yes. It's definitely not done, uh, but it's just to show you how That's the thing. How, how the, the playfulness stuff works. is something I'd also came up with with Maria earlier. Is that yeah, you can just spend yeah hours, you know, um, fiddling around with colors and um, trying things, and then I think where um, where it becomes interesting is, and that's when you know you under, that's when you are a designer or not a designer, is when you know when to stop. Yeah. Okay. And you say, okay, this is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. And we can stop now. Yeah. Okay? That's actually uh, a problem that most of us have, right? Yes. Because we're just too perfectionistic. Mm -hmm. yes. it's, it's it's keeping a lot of designers from being more prolific. It's just getting stuff out mm -hmm. there, getting feedback, iterating. I like on the it. way that looks. So that's I think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's a different look. Um, I mean, all of this little this little mm -hmm. demo here was just to kind of show you how uh, I think it's important that the tools kind of get out of the way so that you have mm -hmm. time to like, you shouldn't be like have to create all those little sizes mm -hmm. and play around with those things. This kind of gives you a quick overview of, of, mm -hmm. of like yeah, it, it just empowers you to, yeah, to become yeah, yeah. a better iconist, really. And just just for those of you who have joined us a little bit later, um, all of these templates, of course, are available on Apply Pixels. Apply Pixels. ApplyPixels.com and. Do you have to? You haven't done the, your own giveaway yet, maybe. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't know. I'll do a giveaway. I'll do a giveaway. Michael, Michael's done a giveaway for Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a giveaway. So uh, yeah, uh, for those of you joining, Apply mm -hmm. Pixels is like this. It's it's still small. It's it's a growing resource with uh, evolving UI kits mm -hmm. and templates. And uh, and and it's uh, I, I I would like to think that I offer some pretty good support as well. Mm -hmm. I, I really try to stay in touch with people and try to help make make their jobs easier. I want to hear if people want specific templates that, mm -hmm. for me to make. There's screenshot templates. There's UI kits yes. for iOS and Android and stuff like mm -hmm. that. So it's normally it's nine it's nine bucks uh, a month. But nine bucks a month. Nine bucks a month. And this is a yes, this is, this is a subscription service. Yeah. I know some of you in the in the chat are saying, oh, you have to pay for it. Yeah. Hell yeah. I mean. This is Michael's work, okay? And uh, his, his work is also to maintain them, to yeah. uh, update them for new OSs yeah. and all of that. And, and, and you know what? The, the, the simplicity and the speed that you just create this one element and suddenly all of your icons are made and all the previews are made, all the, all the, the mock-ups and everything. Well, you know that saves you so much time that I think. Yeah, I think if you use these uh, any of these resources, yes. so the icon ones or, or one of the other ones in yeah, a, in a commercial. Yeah, it's yes. in a commercial project. It, it's even if you've subscribed for a couple of months. Yeah, it's it's still. Yeah, it, absolutely. It, yeah, it saves you a lot of time. But I would say people should make their uh, their own mind for themselves, and and you can cancel any time. Like yeah, you can, yeah. it's not like it's just files, right? You can get access to these things, and then you you subscribe and cancel. You have access for thirty days, mm -hmm. and see if you use them. And then just uh, yeah, you can resubscribe later if there's some new interesting templates that, that sort of pop up that you yeah. think you need. That is perfectly fine with me. My the most important thing for me was just to make this into something mm -hmm. that was sustainable yeah, like for me. Uh, Pava says nine dollars is nothing for that quality of service. Yeah. Also, yes. I it's directly connected to my phone. I receive all. There's a little uh, nice nice little chat bubble on the side. <laughs> I, I I answer everything I can. I'm a one man band, but I I, I really try my best yeah. because I I'm super passionate about making these tools. So, but what I wanted to get to is, if you use, uh, I, I made a discount code for you. If nine bucks was just a little too steep, yep. you can get the first month for fifty percent off uh, right. by using Max 2016, and that's you can tweet that code or whatever. I mean, it's it's when you're just a small, mm -hmm. uh, like a, a setup, like like my my own here. It's it's pretty hard to get the word out. So how um, long did that discount? Code work for uh, I haven't actually set an end date for okay. it yet, but 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 use it. I mean, use it within the next week. I yeah, think yeah, I'll yeah, probably yeah. pull it off. But yeah, uh, yeah. For so I, 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 that, that would probably bring you at, at about four and a half dollars to try it out. Yeah, and then I, I mean I can't do it much better than that. No, um, I agree. Yes, <laughs> but if you have more questions, we can talk about the whole apply pixel uh -huh. stuff. Uh, I, I'm totally up for that. It's there's a lot of fun stuff there. You can go and check it out yourself. There's a lot of stuff we're not covering. Cool. Um, that was the demo that yes. I had. Okay. So, do you guys have any questions? Anything you want well, to Well, there's some questions about, okay. you know, that's a question that comes up very frequently um, in these live streams is uh, where do you get your color inspiration and, um, and how do you figure these things out? Yeah. No. 
So that's, I mean, that's a great question. And uh, there's no one way of doing it. People have different ways of it. Uh, first of all, I think, I mean, take inspiration from everywhere. Look at people who are really good at color work and mm -hmm. kind of try to lure their tricks and their mm -hmm. tactics. But also, like I just showed you, I take a lot of pictures. So if I see something I really like, for example, that picture I shot uh, last year at the Mac stage, it was like, whoa, that gradient just blew me away, right? I take that and you can easily kind of get those, those, those colors into Photoshop. There's also lots of little other tricks that you can use sometimes. Um, there's some people out there like Justin Messel, uh, who's doing like amazing color work. Uh, and, and he writes, he has like this, this, this blog post on how he does, uh, how he hacks this in a way. So, so there's, there's people who actually, they choose some colors that are kind of not random, but it, they're not really well, like they're just kind of average colors. Mm -hmm. But then they use overlay and blend, like, like they, they use different, um, curves on top of them and and do all these these wonderful little um, these little uh, uh, levels and brightness and contrast or or some some hue and saturation layers on top of those things to actually make sure that all of the, the colors that they've chosen are pushed in a, in a certain direction mm -hmm. it check out Justin Messel's work uh, and I also think really that cool. you know the, working with color is um, is I don't think that's something that's a lot that that you're born with um, it's something that takes practice and uh, um, yeah, yeah. We always say practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah. Well, no. Uh, practice makes you go get better. Let's say <laughs> um, elegantly. Elegant. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I agree. Perfection I agree. Yeah. is something that I, you know, I, I just like the word perfect when something yeah. is perfect. Uh, I, I think it, that's 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 such a big part of what I talk about at mm. these things and and what I talk about on my YouTube channel. I have this this little series called Design with Me where I, I take real world examples like clients mm. who wrote me and I just walk people through how I live how I made them. when you design I, with. I people? haven't <laughs> haven't live streamed yet. This, it's a little nerve wracking to live stream uh. Uh, and it's kind of <laughs> nice to be able to. I like to edit. Okay. Uh, I'm a big video guy. I usually vlog. There's a camera right to the side of me that, that's recording this whole thing. <laughs> so, so yeah. And I'll actually I'll do a vlog of my experiences here at Max. So you'll see me yeah, walking yeah. around all jet lag with like my eyes all black, and it'll, it'll, it's, it'll be amazing. But yeah, what I, what I was saying is like you, you, you. Design is a job, right? Mm -hmm. It is a job. It's the, it's not something magical in the sense that. A few people. It's just for the people who are able to draw in school or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I, I I really dislike that. I think it's it's the and there's also a lot of stuff inside the industry where we are very we keep things to ourselves. Some people keep things to themselves, and it's it's very protective in, in its mm -hmm. nature of, of techniques yeah. and all these things. And I just think it's it's our common go like goal, and we should aspire to bring more people into the industry mm -hmm. and and have new designers. And you so. know what? One thing is that I've seen I've seen a trend now that the the, the more successful designers, uh, especially of these new generations that you know that leverage social media, that leverage YouTube, that leverage Behance, um, are those who share, who share their Absolutely. tips and tricks. Okay, because yeah. there is no secrets, there is no uh, special way of doing things. And I think, yes, you know, it can always happen that then somebody will take your icon and yeah, use yeah. it you know and i don't know if that's happened to you yeah, of course um, of course like stuff like people. that happens but mm -hmm. but it, but it doesn't matter everything's you know? a and remix it's, right it's, i mean yeah. they, they don't 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 be too worried about these sort of things mm -hmm. so i also really feel like i'm i'm, I'm connecting to some sort of internet now cuz just okay. what you said is i actually make something called psd.tips Oh, Another okay. little thing that I made. Yeah. I, isn't that a cool domain name? <laughs> is there a website where you have all of your links? <laughs> you know, like. uh, yeah, yeah, well, I mean, uh, if you go to flareup.co, that's kind of like my personal thing where oh, okay. I have all the different projects that I do. I have the different companies I've made or worked for. Uh, so, so that gives, uh, okay. also the talks, uh, if there's any talks coming up or if people want me to go okay. and talk at their, their, at their place, their workplace or university or whatever, uh, lots of stuff on flareup.co. But, I wanted to show you guys. This is pretty cool. So I made this also. By the way, check out my awesome selfie here. Uh, <laughs> but but I, I, do, I do this little series called PSD Tips, which oh, is kind of like, like some of a hipster era or something. Yeah. Right. We're just kind of like I show people how to make things, right? Mm -hmm. How I work with them in my own in my own work, and sometimes it's just a little shortcut, uh, or sometimes it's like how to work with the pen tool, mm -hmm. things that 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 new designers might have. A, like, oh, I didn't know this. Even I've I've actually had really seasoned designers mm -hmm. sort of write me and and tell me, wow, I didn't know that you could do this. I've been using Photoshop for ten years, right? And I learn sometimes. Sometimes I learn from them. They're like, oh, you could do this much easier yeah, in the yeah, comments, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I have to make a video about yeah. that. <laughs> so it's kind of like this fun little series. Um, and yeah, you can find more about like, this this domain name, but also the YouTube channel. 
Okay, what is it? PSD.tips. PSD. Probably tips. the best domain name okay. ever for that. I was so thrilled when I got it. I bought it a long time ago. All right. Let me put that in here. Yep. Rufus, you should fix your hair. That's what they're saying. Or is it? Is it? I don't know what's going on there. Like, can you fix it for me? Yeah. <laughs> Stop. What's wrong with my hair? Can you? Can I get makeup? Makeup. <laughs> makeup. Makeup. We'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> we, we don't have com commercials. No. Oh, damn it. So what is it? What is it? PS. PSD dot tips. Dot tips. Come on already. Makeup. <laughs> I love how these are the comments. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Michael, Michael is messing with us. That's good. That's All good. right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so yeah. All right. Any any other questions? <laughs> Anything you guys want to talk about? No, it's your time. My it's, time. Yeah, it's your time, okay. and we have another ten minutes left with you. Whoa! We spent so, an hour already. Yep. Crazy. Yeah. Time flies when you're having fun. Yeah. Um, do you guys have any questions? Anything you want me to talk about? Cause well, now they're just about all about fixing my hair. So I think maybe maybe what could be interesting is look at some of your work and maybe that you talk a little bit about you know the process or um, sure you know what what it is you did. Yeah. Uh, there's someone asking about uh, Justin Messel. So it's Messel. You can find him at justinmessel.com. Oh. I've never actually met him. Uh, Okay. But shout out to Justin. He was, he's a, right. I, I know he's a really cool guy. Does some amazing color work. I mean, mm -hmm. check out his stuff. It's, it's gorgeous. So uh, yeah, showing some work. Uh, I mean, yeah, I can show you some, something fun. <laughs> so, uh, so I have, I, I, made, I, made, I make lots of little side projects. Mm -hmm. I always try to encourage people to do side projects. Mm -hmm. I think it's, and it's we, the hack. You you've also have a lot of little sites. Yeah, <laughs> lots of little things around, <laughs> uh, around the internet. So, so this, is my, this is my thing about content, right? Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it, the internet is a wonderful place. And when you make content, whatever little piece of content, a side project, uh, an Instagram photo or whatever, it's kind of like you're igniting um, uh, like a flame in a, in a flammable room. You never really know when it's going to blow up. Like just having that little spark every time you, you put content on the internet. So I think, I think you should be prolific. I, should, I think you should make a lot of things. Uh, and then you never know what, what, what these things might lead to. I, I've got so many crazy stories where I've done something for fun, like a wallpaper or whatever, and it's just led to a multi-year experience and an adventure of making something yeah. with, with awesome people. So uh, this is another fun little thing. I made App Icon Wars. I thought, uh, what, like, what would happen if you kind of tried to make Star Wars characters as app icons? I know, with the app icons again, right? It's my own fault with the app icons. But, uh, but, but they, they, uh, they kind of turned out to this little, in, into this little side project where you have all these characters and I get to play with like, this uh, advanced rendering and lighting. And the idea is, is to, can you, like, when you remove the contours of an object, can you still sort of, can you still tell what it is? Uh, and, uh, and how does that work out in that restricted canvas? So lots of little fun stuff there. Uh, really, really cool little things. You can check out appiconwars.com. Mm -hmm. There's actually, there's prints also. There's also some questions about, you know, advice on how to best export icons for um, iOS and Android. Yeah, so actually I didn't show this, right? But in the template, just jumping back to my template here, mm -hmm. there's some actions that comes bundled with the template. So it couldn't be more easy. First of all, remember on iOS, you can't have transparency in the icons that you deliver. Yes. Uh, it's full bleed. Uh, so there's a, bunch of, uh, the, the, there's a bunch of actions that comes with the, many of my templates that just makes it really easy to export. I'm, I'm going to show you how. It, just, it, it goes quickly, so follow along. Find the action called Squ Square Icon Export All. I just hit that action, and I just uh, choose a place to save it. Save. And we're done. That was it. All of them. So I'll, I'll show you. There's a folder here, <laughs> App Icon Squared. Here's all the different sizes that you need to bundle with your app. And even for the developers out there, mm -hmm. this, this actually, the template comes with a JSON file and an App Icon, App Icon Set folder. 
And uh, if you don't know what that is, don't worry. But if you're a developer, you know what that is. If you drop these things in here and you drop this entire folder into Xcode, all the icons will just populate automatically. Oh, wow. So, so that's, again, with the templates. I spent a lot of time kind of thinking about and, and getting feedback from people who are much smarter than me about how would we improve the workflow? How can we make this thing better, right? And that's also what I want from people subscribing to Applied Pixels. No, this truly makes it uh, very, very fast. And you mentioned iOS, but there's, um, you yeah. know, like, on Android, it's the same deal, yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah. transparency is allowed on Android. But uh, I mean, I could do a, d a different demo on mm -hmm. those, but we don't have time today. <laughs> but, uh, but, but I think, again, go to Apply Pixels. Because really, one of the things that I do there is every template that I release has a video with it. Mm -hmm. A video where I just kind of very quickly, I show off uh, how to use that template. And uh, it, it might be like five minutes or 10 minutes. I just kind of give a, a very easy to follow breakdown. The whole idea is that I want everyone from seasoned veteran mm -hmm. to complete. I've never, I've only opened up Photoshop mm -hmm. once yeah. to be able to do these things. So um, yeah. So yeah, so basically this is also like, this is where the icons get created in that, in that Photoshop document. And we've seen that Michael uh, actually uses a sketchbook to actually yeah. sketch his ideas out. And I think this is, I think this should be in every uh, creative um, uh, professional's, um, um, you know, tool tool set is paper and a pen. Yeah, you know, because yeah, that's definitely. When, that's the, the easiest way from your brain to an idea. Yeah, and you avoid a lot of other things as I, mm -hmm. we talked about before. It's it's when you do the, those very low fidelity things. Even if you're, I know designers are always like. When you tell people that you're a designer, people instantly think that you can draw, which is <laughs> That's true. really yeah, yeah, not yeah. the case, right? Many of us, we, we're not very good at drawing, yeah, yeah. myself included. So it takes a long time to sort of become confident in showing and using it as a, as a work tool, right? But do it, trust me. I mean, yeah, go to my YouTube channel. I have a, a whole video just about that, trying to sort of really get about people sketching. to start sketching. About sketching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, um, I, would, I would definitely, if you have any doubts about sketching, go and watch that. I think I, I try to make the case really well. Mm -hmm. um, for, for these things here. Yeah, let's see if I can find. I've got a lot of weird stuff on my YouTube channel. Sorry about that, guys. Design with me. If you go there, find this whole thing. I've got uh, this, this thing called Design with me where I did a, a, an iOS app icon for a client. And I spent a good half of that video mm -hmm. just kind of talking, showing sketches and talking about why yeah, yeah, I yeah, ultimately yeah. sketch. So and that's cool. Yes, and the benefit of, of having sketches to show to a uh, client is, of course, that um, it leaves the client's options open um, because if a client sees something too crisp, something too you know too finished, yeah, uh, it almost looks like the designer already made the decision, yeah, uh, which is partly true because designers make the decision we do that, very right? early on. Yeah, <laughs> I you know when I design something, I know okay, this is it. Yeah, and, this is going to uh, look like th this. This is then, this is going to be yeah. it. But then you have to like sort of fool the client to to think that they have a choice. Yeah. Right? Do you do that too? I, of course. I mean, that, we do that, right? I, I think I'm, I'm very honest about the process on, on, on those YouTube uh, channels, and I take the time to sort of go into my thought mm. process about these things. Uh, and sometimes, sure, you kind of in, in, you initially just know this is going to yeah, be a great yeah, yeah, concept, yeah. and you, you reverse engineer that a little bit, that's and you job, nudge right? them. <laughs> you, as a designer, as a, particularly as a freelance designer, you are, you're essentially a, a professional mind reader. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing. That, yeah. You're supposed to figure out what the other person really thinking, like wants, you, right, like without this, them yeah. maybe <laughs> Knowing, knowing how to how to articulate it, so uh, that's that's a huge part of being a designer. Yeah. yeah. So many people I think are, are asking, uh, do we have um, okay in the chat? There's okay. So your main uh, website is. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. I've got a lot of websites, guys. Yes. If you go to flareup.co, you okay. kind of get like a branching web of all sorts of other okay. stuff. Uh, you can find my Twitter profile, my Dribble profile, my uh, YouTube uh, profile, Behance. For those of you who use that, uh, Instagram, and so forth, uh, and a kind of an overview of, of what I'm involved in right now. Of, of quite a lot of weird things, uh, and uh, and yeah, some of the products I've made, my upcoming talks right now. This is the last. This is the last real tour of 2016. Okay. But I'm always look. I'm, I had this thing in 2013 <laughs> where I, I wrote a talk. I wrote a medium blog post about it where I say yes to almost everything. So I, I really love going out there because we have a job mm. that's looking into a screen 10 hours a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to Doing these sorts of things is just, it's, it's I think refreshing. it's refreshing. They're yeah, amazing. Yeah, yeah. And so, like, yeah. especially like here at Adobe Max where there's 10,000 yeah. creative professionals right now, today. It's, it's yeah, been crazy. Days, it's it's, it's been, been crazy. Yeah. I've been to a lot of conferences. I've, I've done this a while now. Mm -hmm. 
there's nothing that really compares to Max. Max is like, it is the Disneyland of How many years have you come to Max? Oh, this is only my second year Your at Max. Yeah, year. it's my okay. second year at Max. Okay. Uh, it, it was in LA last year and, and, and this year it's in San Diego. Mm -hmm. I much prefer San Diego. Uh, yes. And I, I hope <laughs> that I'll be back next year. Um, so, to talk about game design uh -huh. or something else. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Great. Uh, we have about a minute and a half left. So, Remember that the best experience to watch the, um, uh, these live streams that we do uh, from Adobe is on adobelive.com because we've really set up a good experience to actually view a schedule, to watch the keynotes, the replays. Uh, if you've missed the beginning of Michael's um, talk uh, right now, in the, in the, if, you, if you joined in later, at, as soon as we finish, boom, it's gonna be on, uh, available here inside of adobelive.com. And there's also uh, ways to, um, you know, to engage with us on Twitter, etc. So, I congratulate the, the winners and uh, thank you for my hair. <laughs> uh, that, uh, you know, just to, to make me aware that, you know, something was wrong with my hair. So, it, we, we fixed that. Michael helped me to fix that. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and uh, we're going to be back in uh, exactly five minutes. Um, with more live greatness from Adobe Max 2016 here on adobelive.com. Sweet. See you then. Thanks for Thank having you, me. Thank you, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah.